Hi, my name is Andy Reid. I'm from Reid Plumbing Products. Throughout our 40 years in business, we've discovered that plumbing problems aren't the most difficult to solve, but water supply and delivery issues are. Some of our customers didn't have enough water or pressure to run two fixtures at once, or even to get a decent shower for that matter. This has presented us with a tremendous challenge, and I'm here today to tell you that it is one that we have conquered. Believe it or not, many people don't have the luxury of town supplied water. Some don't even get water every time they open a faucet. People I'm talking about are those with wells. And if you have a well and you're suffering from these problems, boy, do you know the value of water. Now that I've gotten your attention, you're wondering, how do I solve these problems? Well, you're in luck. We don't want lack of water problems to ruin your day or your lifestyle. We especially don't want well issues to prevent you from being able to sell your home. We want you to know there is hope and that we can tell you before you spend a dime whether or not one of our systems will solve your problem. In the vast majority of the cases, it will. Even in cases where you've been told you need to drill a well, you don't necessarily need to do that. Reed Plumbing Products has designed and patented solutions to these problems that will change your life overnight. Well Manager is one of these. If you run out of water doing your daily chores, showering, doing the wash, you need a well manager. If, on the other hand, you only run out of water occasionally, you'd like to boost your water pressure, a Herculon Constaboost system may be a better option. Before you rush off to drill another well, keep in mind that one of these systems may well be the best choice to solve your problem. But how do they work, you may ask? Well, let me show you. This is our see-through well. It's to demonstrate all of the function of, a, of the well in your yard and show you the various components. The only part that you ever see is the part that's sticking up out of the ground in the backyard or front yard, which may be a foot of iron pipe with a cap on top. But below ground, there's this huge hole. At the bottom of this, of this hole drilled into the ground is a submersible pump with a motor on the bottom and a pump on the top and an intake here so it can suck water in from the well and then the pump discharges out through the black plastic tube and then up into your house, into your blue pressure tank, and then on into your plumbing system. Water from the ground around the well seeps into it and fills it up. This is a particularly slow filling well. We call these low yield wells because they, they yield very little water. And to give you an idea, you can see how slowly this one fills. This may be filling at the rate of a quart to a half a gallon a minute. A quart a minute would give you 360 gallons in a day's time if you could keep this well producing. And a half a gallon a minute would give you 700 and some gallons a day if you could keep the well producing. But if you try to uh, shower directly out of this well, one more shower, and this well would be empty, and you'd have to go away and wait for this water to come back in before you could do anything else. And if your home is running out of water now, because you have a low-yield well, that's exactly what's happening. So let me show you how a well manager can take a well like this and manage it in a way that can give you water all day long and allow you to live a normal life like anybody else. So let's walk over to the well manager panel now, and I'll show you how we control the pump in this well so we don't run out of water. Now we're in the house at the brains of the well manager system. This is the well manager panel. But let's talk about what you have now and why it's different than, than the well manager system. Right now, somewhere in your house, in the basement or the utility room, you have a blue pressure tank. Uh, it may be this big. It may be this big. It may be that big. And at the base of the pressure tank, there's a little pressure switch. It's a gray thing with wires going to it. And that little switch controls when your well pump comes on. In order to bring the well pump on, you have to use water out of the blue tank so that the pressure drops and the pressure switch knows to, to turn the well pump on. When the well pump comes on, uh, as long as you're not using water in the house, it's going to come on, it's going to fill that tank up, and then it's going to shut off. Once you leave the house in the morning, uh, if that pressure tank is full, the well pump will not run until you come back and use water which means that it's not going to collect any water the whole time you're gone. And when you get home, all you're going to have in the way of storage is what's in this little blue tank and what was in the crummy well that we looked at out there, which only had five or six feet of water in it. Not much water at all. With the well manager, we control 
the pump with this timer. We control it on time cycles based on the yield. So what we're going to do is bring that well pump on every so often and take out the water that came into the well and put it somewhere else, wait for more water to come into the well, move that water in, into another storage area, and just keep doing that. That way now I've got that well producing the whole time you're off at work. Um, so that it can be made to produce 24 hours a day so that that quarter minute well could make up to 360 gallons in a day, which is more than enough water to supply your family uh, with all its needs. There is a reservoir uh, that we collect the water in. Every time the pump comes on, it puts the water in, in the reservoir. This reservoir is based on your peak demand need um, so that there's enough water in this that when you get up in the morning, you can all shower, you can do the wash, you can do all the things that you want to do. And then when you leave for the day, the space that you've created in this reservoir allows that well pump to run on those time cycles and collect water a little at a time. So when you come home in the evening, you're likely to see it full again and have enough water to start all over again and do whatever you want. You can do wash, wash the truck, do anything you want to do. We have replaced other tank storage systems with well managers where the other tank storage system had 600 gallons of storage and was not keeping up and put in a 160-gallon well manager like this one and kept up with demand and actually provided more water to the household than they had before. So the secret is in a combination of ingredients. It's not just the storage, but the control panel operating the well and keeping that well producing makes all the difference in the world. This unit can take the quart per minute well that won't provide you with a decent shower now and turn it into one that will provide a decent life for you and your family. I hope this helps you to understand how the well manager can work for you. Now let's go take a look at ConstaBoost and see how that compares to well manager. So this is the ConstaBoost. It looks a whole lot on the outside like a well manager. It's a whole bunch less sophisticated. It's a great uh, storage device. This will hold 10 to 15 times what your blue tank holds now. And it's a great delivery device. It will take a, a well system that has poor pressure and turn it into one that will make you think you're connected to city water. The well manager is a lot more sophisticated. It is basically a management tool, a storage device, and a delivery device. The ConstaBoost is a storage and delivery device only. This well manager will get water from wells that are so poor that it's almost unbelievable and provide good service in the house. This one will take and boost your source of water and boost your pressure. They both have a use in this world, and one of these systems will undoubtedly uh, take care of your problem. We don't want lack of water problems to ruin your day or your lifestyle. We especially don't want well issues to prevent you from being able to sell your home. We want you to know there is hope and that we can tell you before you spend a dime whether or not one of our systems will solve your problem.